Hey everybody, this is Tom with The Board Gamer. What makes a good queen? Is it grace? Is it power? These are questions that must be answered. For among you, a true ruler is here. Today, we will take the role as sisters competing to show our leadership abilities by assembling a grand court to impress the queen. What path will you choose to pursue? Who will impress the queen with their court and show they have what it takes to successfully reign as the next monarch? Monarch is a 2-4 player game for ages 12 and up, with an average gameplay length of 45 minutes. The basic overview of Monarch is to collect food and gold in order to purchase court cards until one sister has a total of 7 cards in their court, which triggers the final round. The sister with the most crown points in the end wins. Game setup begins by placing 9 of the 12 land boards onto the table in a 3x3 grid. Shuffle the market deck, then draw 5 cards and lay out a row of market cards. If any moon cards are drawn, shuffle them back into the market deck and draw a new card. Place the 5 banners above the market and give each player five apples, five gold, and a reminder card. Once everything is set up, the youngest sister goes first. On your turn, you have the ability to either harvest, which allows you to gain food based on the number of apples on the board, or tax, which allows you to gain gold based on the number of villages on the board. However, if you tax, you must first feed each village one food. If you do not have enough food to feed every village, you cannot tax. These actions can only be done once per turn, but do not need to be your first action. The next two actions can be done any number of times on your turn, provided you have the funds to do so. The first action is to acquire a card from the market by paying its cost in the upper right corner of the card. The second action is sweeping the market and drawing new cards by paying three gold. If at any time a moon card is drawn, everything stops and it must be dealt with immediately. Once dealt with, once dealt with discard the moon card to the box and draw a new card. Let's play around and go over a few types of cards that may come up. Court cards are the most common. We already talked about the cost that is displayed up in the top right corner. Moving down the card, we see the crown value surrounded by the path it follows. In the text box, you have the name of the card followed by its ability and sometimes an emblem tucked behind the text. Improvement cards are the next most common card. These cards are placed on the board and not in your court. These cards generally help everyone, but if they have a path attached, they will be more beneficial to whoever is following that path. These improvement cards can always be replaced by other improvement cards, but they must generate equal to or more than their current output. An unwanted guest is the only real way to directly affect other players, which is worth negative crowns when hanging around your court. They do not count as members of your court. They are unwanted after all. There are certain court cards that can remove unwanted guests, but if you do not have any, those unwanted guests stick around the whole game. The last card we will see is the moon card. 
Moon cards are events that occur immediately. All other play stops and the players must work together to resolve what is on the moon card. Once resolved, discard the moon card to the box and continue play from before the moon card. A couple things to be aware of. You can always replace a card in your court with another. The only card you cannot replace is unwanted guest. The maximum court size is seven cards, so it may be better to swap some out for higher crown cards before you get to the end game. Also, once per game on a player's turn, if requirements are met, they may fly a banner of their choosing. Banners provide crown bonuses based on the path it represents. The game ends after the round is complete and a player has seven court cards. As long as it is not the last player in the round, play will continue until the round ends before scoring. If the last player in the round ends their turn with seven court cards, there are no additional rounds. The game ends and the crowns are scored. Once scored, the sister with the most crown wins and proves she has what it takes to be the next monarch. Thank you for joining and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified about new videos. If you're bored now, click this for more games.